In Unify Network Controller, for your network settings, you can find this configuration is called multicast DNS. You may think, okay, it's just a simple MDNS service, nothing's interesting, right? But if you move your mouse cursor over here, you can see a very short description, and it says it allows traffic to transmit across multiple networks. A lot of things are going on. Let's go through them one by one. Let's first take a look at MDNS. So it's a protocol to resolve host names to IP address within small networks. Do not include a local name server. And it's a zero configuration service. It uses IP multicast UDP packets. Two popular implementations are Apple Bonjour and Awaki. In the right side, I have the Awaki website. Ubiquity uses the open source Awaki for its MDNS service. As is mentioned in the left side of Wikipedia article, another popular implementation is Apple Bonjour. The immediate question from some of you may be, if it's a built-in service from Apple devices, why we need another MDNS implementation in Unify Gateway? That's what we are going to explore in this video. On the screen, I show you the Apple specific information for this video. So left side, you can see Bonjour. Basically, it's Apple's implementation of MDNS, the zero configuration networking. And in the right side, it's for AirPlay. For AirPlay to work, it depends on Bonjour. This is my lab environment. I have a Unify switch connected with two Apple devices, a Apple TV and a Mac mini. And I'm going to capture the Ethernet packets from time to time, just to understand how the multicast works. So I'm running another machine with Wireshark to monitor the network traffic. I am going to go through four different scenarios. First scenario, they are all connected using Ethernet cables. They are within the same VLAN. The second scenario, they are in different VLANs. The third scenario, they are all Wi-Fi clients and they are in the same VLAN. The last scenario, they are in different VLANs when they are on Wi-Fi. So let's see in the four different scenarios how the Unify MDNS setting works, whether these two Apple devices can use AirPlay to communicate with each other. First scenario, the same VLAN. As you can see now in Unified Network Controller, I have this MDNS setting disabled. In the lower part of the screen, let me SSH into the UDM Pro. Let's see what's the Awaki setting over there. Okay, I'm in. Now let me go to the folder RUN. There should be some Awaki configuration files here if it is running. Let me try to find it. See, nothing. Why we don't have any configuration file? Because we disabled the MDNS here. So currently, Awaki service is not running on UDM Pro, but it doesn't mean within the network, we don't have MDNS service because all the Apple devices, they come with MDNS support or Bonjour support. Let's validate it. From the Mac Mini, let me go to the control center. If I click on the screen mirroring, see, I see the Apple TV. That means these two Apple devices, they are able to communicate with each other by using AirPlay with the help of Bonjour service. So let's try to capture the Ethernet frames. Let's see what's happening under the hood. In the Linux machine, let me launch Wireshark. So the Ethernet 1 part is connected to the 7th part shown in the diagram. As you can see, I already configured the part 
mirroring in the Unify switch. So the Wireshark is able to see everything going through this part, which is connected to the Mac Mini. Let me start capturing. Double click on Ethernet 1, filter on MDNS. So then in the Mac Mini, let me click on the control center, screen mirroring. Okay. It correctly displayed the Apple TV. In the right side, I see a whole bunch of queries and responses. And let me stop capturing. And then let's examine what happened. From the IP address of the Mac Mini, which ends with 93, it sent multiple queries. They are either QU or QM. QU means it's unicast query, and the QM is multicast query. You can see only the Apple TV responded. So basically the Mac mini asked, okay, what's the IP address for this, this, this name, right? And then Apple TV responded. That's what MDNS for. We will not dig deeper into the details of the queries and the responses because they are not really related to this particular video. But as long as we see them, that means MDNS or Bonjour service works now within the same VLAN, even we don't have the MDNS enabled in network controller. So we are good for the first scenario. Okay, let's move on. So in this scenario, I put the two Apple devices in two different VLANs. So Mac mini remains in VLAN 88, but Apple TV will be in VLAN 66. In the right side, you can see I still haven't enabled multicast DNS yet for network. If we go to the switch setting, go to port manager, you can see for the port 2, which is connected to Apple TV, I already forced it to be in VLAN 66. Apple TV is in VLAN 66 now already. Whether at this moment, without enabling the MDNS in network setting in Unify Network Controller, whether we are able to do the AirPlay successfully. In the lower part, let me start capturing. Then from the left side, Mac Mini, go to Control Center, Screen Mirroring. See, it's different now, right? So no matter how hard the Mac Mini tries, it doesn't display the Apple TV. In the right side, let me stop capturing. Let's see what happened. You can see they are all queries. There are no responses. Why? Because the only possible responses will come from the Apple TV. Unfortunately, it's in another VLAN and we haven't enabled this MDNS setting. So now let's check the tour tip again in the network controller. You may understand what it is for. If you have multiple VLANs, you still want MDNS to work. You need to enable it. Why enabling it will work? Because first, by default, multicast won't work across multiple VLANs. Secondly, by enabling it behind the screen, Unify Gateway will run the additional Avahi service. Let me enable the MDNS. Just clicking the checkbox is not enough because we have multiple VLANs. So I want to select the VLAN 66 and 88 so that MDNS will be enabled on this too. Then in the SSH session, remember last time when we checked the Awaki configuration, we didn't find anything, right? This time, let's do the same thing again. LS Awaki files. This time we do see the Awaki daemon configuration. Check what's inside it. There are two lines. First, enable reflector equals to yes. So reflector means the Avahi service will help the MDNS client so that MDNS request will be reflected in multiple subnets so that the MDNS client is able to browse the different 
subnets MDNS service, just like in the same local subnet. That's what reflector means here. Scroll up a little bit, see the allow interfaces equals to these two. What are these two interfaces? Let me exit the Awaki configuration. Let me run the bridge control command. Currently, it has three bridges, BR66 and 88. They are the bridges for these two VLANs we are talking about in this video. So which means Awaki service will provide the reflector services on these two VLANs. Okay, supposedly with the help of Awaki, now if from the Mac Mini, if I try to find the Apple TV, I should be able to get it. Let's validate it. Start a fresh package capturing in Wireshark, still filtered on MDNS in the Mac Mini. Let's go to Control Center, screen mirroring. Okay, so it successfully shows the Apple TV. Whole bunch of frames were already captured. Stop capturing. Let's see what happened. Mac Mini, the 93 IP address, still send the query to the same MDNS destination, right? But Apple TV from the other subnet, the 66 subnet, it is able to respond back how it happened because we enabled the MDNS in Unified Network Controller. So the Awaki service helps reflect the request to both VLANs. I hope it's clear why it works now. We are good to move on to scenario three. In this scenario, let's talk about Wi-Fi. The reason I want to make this video even more complicated by talking about Wi-Fi is if you go to your Wi-Fi SSID setting, you may find two settings which are related to multicast. I just want to make it clear about whether these two settings have anything to do with the MDNS we talked about in this video. As you can see, for this particular SSID, I don't have these two settings enabled at all. This ZVLAN 66 is only for VLAN 66 network. And then I have another SSID, the ZVLAN 88, and it is only associated with VLAN 88. Similarly, it doesn't have these two multicast settings enabled. For this particular scenario three, if we go to network, as you can see, I don't have the MDNS enabled. Then let's check the network topology. For the two Apple devices, they are connected to the designated access point. For this scenario, they are using the exact same SSID, which is only associated with the same VLAN, VLAN 66. So let's see in this particular scenario, whether the Bonjour service or MDNS still works. Go to the Mac Mini Control Center screen mirroring. See, the Apple TV is successfully displayed here. Okay, let's quickly move to the last scenario. So it's very similar to previous one, but this time the two Apple devices, they belong to different VLANs. So in the right side, you can see the topology is almost the same, but Mac Mini now is connected to the other SSID, so it belongs to VLAN 88 now. Anything else is the same. For example, in the network, I still don't have the MDNS enabled. This time, let's go to Mac Mini. Let's see whether it can find the Apple TV. See, this time it doesn't work. Of course, that's due to the fact that these two Apple devices, they are in different VLANs, right? Go to the network setting, go to network, enable MDNS for these two VLANs, apply changes. Let's try again, go to Mac Mini. Okay, see, the only change we made was the MDNS, now it works. So the conclusion is, the MDNS thing, it has nothing to do with the Wi-Fi settings about these two particular ones. 
multicast enhancement and multicast and broadcast controls. They are for totally different things. They are not really directly related to the MDNS in the network settings. So don't be confused. Okay, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.